Most students thinks that coupled motion happens only at the spine, but actually our whole body uses it as a biomechanical cheat code. For example, when you are walking and keeping your knees straight, that time your tibia is externally rotating to keep it locked. That's a coupled motion. Not only that, when you are trying to elevate your arm, that time along with the glenohumeral joint, even your scapula moves upward as well as posterior. That's a coupled motion. Again, when you are performing pronation at your ankle, it's a combination of three movements, which is dorsiflexion as well as eversion and abduction. So not only this, it also happens at your hip joint. Hip joint when you are flexing it, it also slightly internally rotates, as well as when you are performing extension, it also goes for external rotation. So in the simple terms, whenever a joint has oblique axis or twisted ligaments, one movement pulls another movement, and if the link breaks, it can cause painful or inefficient movements. If you want to know more about it, and if you are someone who want to consult with me for physiotherapy, then all the details are provided in the description.